Yichen woke up in the middle of the night and found himself transformed into a young boy with a busted girl lying beside him. Was Yichen dreaming? It turns out the man's name is Yichen, who has been reborn into the world of cultivation called the Tianxian Continent. The sect Yichen belongs to is a low-level force called Xianyuan Holy Land. There are Yuxiao, Shinting, Tianqi, and Xianyao Four Peaks in Xianyuan Holy Land, and his mother is Yichen Wu, the leader of Xianyao Peak. She has numerous disciples under her, all of them women. She has seven close disciples, all of whom are as beautiful as the world world with extraordinary temperament, known as seven beauties of a mortal destiny. The seven senior sisters love Yichen very much, and they always take turns to take care of Yichen. After all, he was only seven years old. Today, the one accompanying Yichen is his fourth senior sister, Yulingsi. Just as Yichen was about to enter a trance, a system prompt sounded in his mind. Host, welcome to the Tianxian continent. Activating the supreme holy body. Activating, activating, activating. In the next moment, Yichen's heart felt as if it was being scorched by a raging fire, causing him to collapse to the ground and roll around in pain. Unexpectedly, he had to begin cultivating right after crossing over. At this moment, the system sounded another prompt. Host, I have now added Xian Huang martial arts to your memory. Please practice as soon as possible. Remember to adjust your breath and qi to avoid exploding body and death. Yi Chen followed the Xian Huang martial arts provided by the system, managing to stabilize the rampant energy. The supreme immortal body is a rare physique for 10,000 years, able to absorb the heaven and earth's spiritual energy into its own cultivation in a matter of breath. Xian Xian Huang Arts is a collection of supreme martial arts. It can be guided by luck and changes magically after being practiced. It can move mountains and seas, shocking the sky and the earth. The combination of these two artifacts is simply extraordinary. Congratulations to the host. The cultivation method has just been completed, and the current cultivation level is the first level of the nascent soul stage. The system will be activated immediately, and the check-in task will be issued. The cultivation base is made up of qi refining, foundation building, core formation, nascent soul, god transformation, dong Xian. Mayana gods, and nine trials of tribulation. Little Yichen originally had no cultivation. Even if talented to advance to the nascent soul stage will take at least 30 years. Unexpectedly, within just a few hours, Yichen not only advanced to the nascent soul stage, but also grew bigger in size. At this moment, his fourth senior sister also woke up. If she were to discover Yichen's sudden growth, it would be disastrous. In this critical moment, the system prompt sounded ding. The host has completed the fourth sister's boudoir check-in task and obtained the permanent item, illusion charm. Sticking it on the body can make others have illusions about themselves, and neither vision nor touch can distinguish from reality. It can be used to disguise the identity of different body types. In a hurry, Yichen stuck the illusion charm onto his forehead. Fourth senior sister looked at Yichen in surprise and said, Why are you sitting on the ground? Why are your clothes all torn? Yichen secretly let out a sigh of relief, thinking that the illusion charm must have worked. He then explained that he might have fallen down while sleepwalking. Fourth senior sister immediately picked up Yichen and said, I'm sorry. Senior sister didn't take good care of Yichen, which made you hurt from the fall. Why do I feel that you have become heavier? Yichen hurriedly replied in panic, I ate too much last night. Fourth senior sister turned around and said, so you've gained weight. It's early morning, get up, then your mother will be happy again. At this moment, Yichen received a system-issued sign-in task. System reminder, now issue a task to the host. Follow the fifth sister to learn alchemy skills. Yichen then turned his head and looked at the fourth senior sister. Fourth sister, do you have any plans for today? I would like to. Fourth senior sister, wearing a coat, replied, I'll still practice meditation and cultivation. What do you want to do? Yichen didn't pay attention to her words anymore because her back was just too beautiful. Fourth senior sister saw that Yichen didn't speak, so she turned her head and looked at Yichen gently. Her smile directly hit Yichen's heart, and blood couldn't help but gush out from his nose. Seeing Yichen faint, fourth senior sister hurriedly carried him to his mother's palace. Yichen Wu also became panicked upon seeing this. Fourth senior sister quickly explained that Yichen was fine when he woke up in the morning, but suddenly fainted with a nosebleed and had a strange smile on his face. At this time, Yichen was still thinking, why did you put me down? Yichen Wu took out a pill nervously and said, it's probably a side effect from Little Chen's past cultivation. I hope this Hualing pill that Yichen got from Medicine King Valley can help him. She then stuffed the pill into Yichen's mouth and waited anxiously with fourth senior sister for the pill to take effect. Meanwhile, Yichen pretended to have a stomachache, turned over, and secretly spit out the pill. He also removed the illusion charm that controlled his body size. The next moment, a strong burst of light erupted from Yichen as the center. After a while, Yichen returned turned to his original size as a young man. He then pretended to be shocked and asked excitedly, Mother, what medicine did you give me? It's amazing. Suddenly, fourth senior sister raised her fist and charged at Yichen, shouting, Who the hell are you? What did you do to my Yichen? But now, Yichen had already reached the nascent soul stage in his cultivation, and he easily blocked her attack. Yichen immediately explained to fourth senior sister, fourth sister, it's really me. You have a mole on the bottom of your foot. This can prove it, right? Upon hearing this, fourth senior sister was shocked. Even the master doesn't know about this. Only Yichen 
Chen. Are you really Yi Chen? Yi Qing Wu, with shining eyes, embraced Yi Chen. I feel it. The aura in my son's body is surging, which is rare in the world. My little Chen, finally able to practice martial arts. However, Yi Chen said, I, I want to learn disguise first. Yi Qing Wu looked at Yi Chen with a puzzled face. So Yi Chen explained, I suddenly had such an adventure. It is inevitable that I will be envied by others. Learning to disguise can save my life in a critical moment. Yi Qing Wu rubbed Yi Chen's head. It makes sense. My son has considered things so thoughtfully. Then you go to learn the art of disguise with the third senior sister. Watching Yi Chen's departing figure, fourth senior sister still couldn't believe the child who hugged and slept with me last night suddenly turned into a handsome boy. Suddenly, fourth senior sister's face turned red, as if she thought of something. Oh no, I'm afraid something will happen if Yi Chen falls into the hands of third sister. Meanwhile, in another courtyard, a charming fairy sneezed. What's going on? How can I, a cultivator, catch a cold? At this time, Yi Chen was going to third senior sister's residence to learn the art of disguise. Unexpectedly, he ran into third senior sister changing clothes. Frightened, Yi Chen hurriedly apologized, and Miao Han, however, didn't mind at all and said, it's not the first time Yi Chen has seen this. Then she went on busying herself. Seeing this, Yi Chen blushed and said, I, I've taken the potion mother brought, and I'm not the same as before. Upon hearing this, and Miao Han looked at Yi Chen carefully for a while, and then replied, it's really nice, taller, more handsome, also, long. Yi Chen, being praised like this, blushed even more, and couldn't look her in the eye, afraid that she might eat him up. But in Miao Han seemed not to care, and continued teasing, also become handsome. Yi Chen looks more and more delicious. Yi Chen thought that third senior sister was indeed a master of charm arts. Every word and action filled with endless imagination. Suddenly, and Miao Han changed the subject. You came to me to learn the art of disguise, right? Yes, I would like to ask third sister to teach me. To learn the art of disguise, you must be proficient in the four phases of the face, skin, muscles, bones, and tendons. You have to learn these books before you can learn them. However, when Yi Chen opened the books, he couldn't understand them at all. This stuff was more complicated than math. And with the watchful third senior sister staring at Yi Chen, it was impossible to study quietly. After some consideration, Yi Chen decided to take the book back to study, but was stopped by third senior sister. Following that, she said, sister's books are top secret. You can't take them out of this room, so you can stay and read them slowly. You can stay overnight. Forced by and Miao Han's pressure, Yi Chen reluctantly stayed behind. All of this was for Yi Chen to learn the art of disguise sooner. After a while, and Miao Han, feeling too hot, left the room. Yi Chen thought to himself, can you be hotter than me? And after so long, I still can't concentrate on reading. Suddenly, someone outside the room said, third senior sister, master ordered everyone to gather in the meeting hall. Yi Chen hurried out to ask the maid what had happened. The maid said, Ding Weiyang came looking for something again, and asked us to prepare a birthday gift for Master Yu Xiaofeng according to the list he made. Before Yi Chen could continue asking, he heard third senior sister shouting angrily behind him, Damn Yu Xiaofeng, do they really think we are inferior to them? Let's go! I'd like to see what he wants to stir up in Xiangya Peak. She came over, holding a whip with murderous intent. Yi Chen was curious to see what they wanted to do at Xiangya Peak. At that moment, Ding Weiyang was sitting arrogantly in the meeting hall, scolding, How many days have passed? All you have to do is prepare this crap? What are you doing? Yi Qing Wu, the peak master, said with embarrassment, this is Xiang Yao Feng's intention for the birthday of Lord. It's all valuable herbs too. The next moment, half a peach hit Yi Qing Wu on the head. Ding Weiyang continued to curse. Bullshit. Is this the crap I told you to prepare? Fourth senior sister Yu Lingxi became angry upon seeing this. You little elder, how dare you disrespect the peak master? If it weren't for Yi Qing Wu holding her back, they might have started fighting. Ding Weiyang didn't expect Yu Lingxi to dare defy him and threaten. Yu Lingxi, you dare to talk to me like that because you don't want to be in the holy land of Xian Yuan, do you? Which of the four peaks of Xian Yuan can only survive under the shade of our Yu Xiao Peak? Are you worthy of yelling at me? At that moment, third senior sister and Miao Han arrived and immediately retorted. From a long distance, I heard a dog barking. It turned out that a male dog had sneaked in. Ding Weiyang trembled with rage. Good. You've gone rogue. I'm going to report to the master. Next month you won't get even half a tail of silver. After saying that, he intended to leave. Yi Ching Wu hurriedly apologized behind him, saying, Elder Ding calm down. It was all a misunderstanding. We would like to make an apology, and please don't make trouble with Master Chen. Upon hearing this, Ding Weiyang stopped and coldly snorted. Ha, huh, make an apology? How can you make up for this gift? I don't know what you want, but as long as we have it, we will give it to you. I heard that junior sister and is very good at charm. If she can serve me well, I will be happy. I'll forgive you. Unexpectedly, and Miao Han agreed without hesitation. Yi Ching Wu didn't even have time to stop her, and Miao Han then approached and seductively said, however, my methods are too strong. I am afraid that Elder Ding will not be able to bear the loss of vitality. I have a sister who also learned my arts. Would you like to give it a try? Upon hearing this, Ding Weiyang nodded repeatedly. Then, they saw a stunning woman approaching. Senior sister, what do you need me for? Xiao Dai, give this elder a set of mind-blowing, bone-crunching S asterisk X. Yes, Elder Ding, please follow me. At this moment, Ding Weiyang was already mesmerized and followed Xiao Dai. After the two left, and Miao Han suddenly laughed with a sense of schadenfreude. The two people behind were puzzled. Who is this? I don't remember this disciple in Xiangyao Pi. 
speak. How come we have never seen this disciple before? A moment later, Xiao Dai beckoned to Elder Ding from the bedside, saying, Elder Ding, come quickly. Ding Wuyang could no longer resist and immediately pounced on her. However, to his surprise, she revealed something even bigger than his. The next moment, he was kicked out of the room. Ding Wuyang, covering his stomach in pain and trembling, said, You are actually a man. There is a man in Xiangya Peak. The person disguised as a woman was Yi Chen, who said with a smile, It seems that the art of disguise is very successful. Ding Wuyang was suddenly furious and shouted, I'm going to report to the Peak Master for a heavy punishment. Yi Chen kicked him again and yelled, Then what the hell are you doing here? Yi Chen attacked and injured the troublemaker Elder Yu Xiaofeng and Ding Wuyang, but soon this incident reached the ears of Elder Yu Xiaofeng, so the three elders brought the injured Ding Wuyang to Xiangyao Peak to investigate the matter. Ding Wuyang angrily shouted, Xiangyao Peak is a place for female disciples to train solely, yet males are also there. That's outrageous, it must be investigated. But Yi Qing Wu insisted that there were no men on Xiangyao Peak. Ding Wuyang, furious, slammed the table. It's your junior sister Xiao Dai. She's a man in disguise. Xiao Dai, there's no one by that name on Xiangyao Peak. Elder Ding, don't speak nonsense. You're pretending to be confused, aren't you? You just asked her to take me to. Ding Wuyang's words were cut off suddenly, startled. Seeing this, and Miao Han asked, to do what? Keep talking, Elder Ding. I also want to know why you appeared next to the medicated bathroom of our Xianyao Peak female disciples wearing only underwear. According to the regulations, the disciples of the Outer Peak are not allowed to approach the training room of the female disciples of Xianyao Peak, not to mention the place where everyone bathes naked. Ding Wuyang is at a loss for words at this moment. He couldn't squeeze out a single word for quite a while. Elder Zhang Lu also noticed that something was wrong. He immediately asked Ding Wuyang what he was doing over there. Ding Wuyang thought, Fuck, I definitely can't say that I was tricked into asking for that. If I let Elder Zhang Lu know, I will die. If Elder Zhang Lu finds out, it's all over. Seeing Ding Wuyang remain silent, the three elders had a hunch. They guessed that this guy was probably caught while trying to pee, because they knew, at Xiangyao Peak, other than the little boy Yi Chen, there were no other males. After discussing, they finally declared it a misunderstanding. After Ding Wuyang apologized, the matter was settled. Third senior sister, your move is too clever. That bastard Ding Wuyang, never try to make trouble again in the future. I can't think of such a brilliant plan. Eh, whose idea was that? It's Yi Chen. He said he intended to make Ding Wuyang suffer, and he did so. It seems that we can no longer treat him as a little kid. Meanwhile, Yi Chen was in the study, reflecting on the recent battle. Suddenly, the system congratulated the host for completing the sign-in task. Congratulations to the host. You completed the Learn Disguise Technique sign-in task and received a reward, Mastery of Puppetry plus 15 experience. As soon as the words fell, in Yi Chen's mind, he had all the knowledge to create puppetry. Yi Chen didn't know yet. Third senior sister and fourth senior sister were secretly hiding outside the door. Yu Lingxi whispered, Is it really okay for us to sneak around like this? And Miao Han didn't care. How else can we find out little Chen's secret? I suspect that Yi Chen must have received some strange technique to change so much overnight. Maybe he's in there right now secretly practicing. That makes sense. A moment later, there was indeed a strange noise coming from the room. Now if we rush in, we can uncover his unknown secret. And Miao Han suddenly pushed the door open and shouted, I've got you now. They saw Yi Chen with both hands on the female puppetry's thighs, not knowing what he wanted to do. These two heavenly beautiful women were Yi Chen's senior sisters, but they told Yi Chen that they could help with his physiological needs. Yi Chen exclaimed it was a misunderstanding. The doll was a puppetry made by Yi Chen. It turned out that Yi Chen had just learned the mastery of puppetry and was about to try it out, but was mistaken for releasing the pressure inside. After listening to the explanation, both women were shocked. The mastery of puppetry is profound and unfathomable. No one in the entire Xian Yuan Holy Land understands it. This young boy actually figured it out on his own, and it seems that it has a very high completion rate. Possessing a certain level of wisdom, seeing the surprised expressions of his senior sisters, Yi Chen realized how amazing this mastery of puppetry was. It seems that he should keep a low profile in the future. Then, third senior sister and Miao Han curiously asked, what are the five grooves on the puppetry's body for? They are the upgrade interfaces reserved by Yi Chen for Tsing Yi. In the future, suitable energy crystals can be installed, and it can be upgraded to a battle form. While proudly introducing the puppetry, the system issued another task. Now issue the task to the host. Go to the back mountain and sign and under the thousand-year-old pine tree. To prevent others from noticing that Tsing Yi is a puppetry, Yi Chen borrowed a set of clothes from third senior sister. Then, he headed to the back mountain. The back mountain was even bigger than Yi Chen had imagined. Where should he look for the thousand-year-old pine tree? Tsing Yi, let's split up and call me if you find it. Although Tsing Yi has no cultivation, but because he inherited Yi Chen's true essence, the two can connect with each other. The scene changes. Ding Wuyang, with his relentless evil intentions, actually targeted Tsing Yi, taking advantage of her unpreparedness. He struck Tsing Yi's back with a palm. Ding Wuyang threatened, tell me honestly, is your Xian Yao Peak hiding a man? However, she didn't respond. No response, do you look down on me? Damn, not even a little disciple is afraid of me. Well, it looks like you're going to have to suffer a little bit. That man gives me nightmares, so today you'll pay the debt. Let's see your face, little one. After Ding Wuyang lifted the skirt and sighed, there were 
are constantly rotating gears. This structure is not quite the same as what I saw in the book. At this moment, Yi Chen arrived in time and kicked away this despicable fellow. Ding Weiyan, you sneaked up to Xiang Yao Peak to attack female disciples. It seems you're tired of living. However, Ding Weiyan laughed instead of getting angry. You finally showed up. It seems that what happened to me was not an illusion. Last time I was caught off guard by your attack. This time, it's time for you to know my strength. Ding Weiyan had a cultivation level of nascent soul stage third layer, immediately adjusted his state, and swung a sword at Yi Chen. Although Yi Chen had a cultivation level of nascent soul stage first layer, he had no suitable weapon at hand, and could only keep dodging. When Ding Weiyan saw that he couldn't hit Yi Chen for a long time, he taunted, you little bastard, you run pretty fast, you think there's nothing I can do if you keep running? Keep going, this is not enough, does it? Yes, the supreme immortal body can absorb the spiritual energy of heaven and earth in a breath. I can't beat him, but I can wear him out. Although Ding Weiyan didn't know what Yi Chen's gesture meant, he felt very angry. Originally, he wanted to capture you alive for a confrontation, but now it seems unnecessary. After saying that, he concentrated his spiritual power into the sword, and then suddenly swung out a sword chi that was dozens of meters long. The speed was so fast that there was no time to dodge. In a moment of desperation, Yi Chen grabbed a rock and infused it with spiritual energy, then swung it out forcefully, successfully blocking the attack. This scene left Ding Weiyan dumbfounded. You, what kind of move is that? You call this a fucking move? Just pick up a stone and use it. It's like a child's fight. Yi Chen retorted sarcastically. Who said that only fancy ones can be considered moves? If it works, it works. It's much more useful than your flashy techniques. This time, Ding Weiyang was truly furious, daring to insult his signature technique like that. He then swung out several sword chi in succession. Seeing the situation, Yi Chen remained calm. That was exactly the effect he wanted. If you compete with Yi Chen in spiritual energy, you're bound to lose. Just like before, Yi Chen used rocks to block all the sword chi. At this moment, Ding Weiyang was already panting for breath, thinking to himself, this kid is obviously not as strong as me, but how come he has so much chi? When he came to his senses, a huge rock was flying towards him, but he split it in half with a single sword strike. However, Yi Chen had already hidden behind the huge rock. By the time Ding Weiyang discovered it, it was too late. Then a palm strike hit his chest. The force was so great that it barely stopped after hitting the huge rock. But when the smoke cleared, the figure had already vanished without a trace. His escape skills were top-notch. At this moment, Yi Chen was still unaware that his recent battle had been witnessed by a mysterious powerful figure. They murmured to themselves, it seems that there is a remarkable guy among the disciples. Yi Chen went to the back mountain in order to complete the sign-in task and search for the thousand-year-old pine tree. Soon, he found a tree with its own halo. As he approached, the system prompted congratulations to the host who has completed the designated sign-in and gained the skill, mastering the world chess game. Yi Chen was very frustrated. What's the use of playing chess for someone who cultivates? He regretted coming at all, but at that moment, a chessboard suddenly appeared behind him. Yi Chen thought it was a test arranged by the system, so he stepped forward. With the help of the skill, he found the solution after only a short period of thinking. Someone said, Black wins. In the next second, the chessboard began to crack as if something was about to break free. Then, a beautiful woman with a large chest burst out from the chessboard, cheering happily. Finally, someone has solved this chess game, and I am free. Seeing the beautiful woman flying in the sky, Yi Chen was momentarily stunned. Singy instinctively stepped forward to protect Yi Chen. The beautiful woman spoke first, asking, Which peak's disciple are you? Yi Chen did not dare to neglect her and respectfully replied, Greetings, I am a disciple of Xiang Yao Peak. My name is Yi Chen. The beautiful woman was very puzzled. When did Xiang Yao Peak start accepting male disciples? Yi Chen saw that her intentions were unclear and cautiously replied, I was admitted as an exception. To his surprise, she not only did not blame him, but also praised the decision, telling Yi Chen to thank his master on her behalf. Yi Chen became even more confused and asked, I also haven't asked who are you? The beautiful woman revealed a captivating smile, and in the next moment, she appeared in front of Yi Chen. I am the third generation master of Immortal's Edge. I lost to Wang Zil Ji, the chess immortal by a piece. Afterwards, I spent my whole life trying to break this game, but I couldn't do it until I died. Because of my deep obsession, my soul was trapped in this game, unable to reincarnate for thousands of years. My wish is granted. As she spoke, she suddenly kissed him. Yi Chen was momentarily dazed by this sudden happiness. When he regained his senses, the beautiful woman had already left his side. Yi Chen was secretly surprised. The third generation head, isn't that the ancestor of the current head? Then he remembered, let me see if there's any reward I can give you. After a moment, the beautiful woman threw a jade pendant to Yi Chen and said, take this jade pendant. Even the current elders will be at your disposal. Farewell. I can finally be free. After doing all this, she had no more lingering attachments in her heart, and her soul gradually dissipated as it was liberated. Yi Chen also said, disciple respectfully sends greetings. Great master. Unexpectedly, the beautiful woman became anxious at the end. Remember, from now on, you are my disciple and the supreme elder of the immortal land. Yi Chen looked at the jade pendant in his hand, and his heart was already filled with joy. This is too European style. Signing in and signing out as the Supreme Elder. Who in Xianyuan Holy Land would dare to mess with Yi Chen? Suddenly, Yi 
each and sensed someone quickly approaching and immediately pulled Sing Yi to run towards the woods. Moments later, an astonishing wave of energy descended from the sky, and the visitor turned out to be Ding Wuyan. Both of them clearly sensed familiar spiritual energy fluctuations in the surroundings. Ding Wuyan speculated that Yi Chen was up to something because he was the only one who had appeared nearby recently. At this moment, Yi Chen hid behind a tree, observing the help Ding Wuyang had called for. The current head was Yu Xiaofeng. Ding Wuyang took the opportunity to add fuel to the fire. The first thing, they didn't give you a gift for your birthday. After the man who violated the regulations is here, he must be beaten up. Hearing this, Yu Xiaofeng's expression turned cold. I'm very uncomfortable with that chi just now. It is actually at the back mountain of Xianyao Peak, so I have to be on guard. It seems that it's time to bleed some blood on Xianyao Peak. At this moment, fourth senior sister Yu Lingxi was looking in the mirror, doubting whether her chest was too small. However, Yi Chen had no time to appreciate the scene, urgently wanting to know the whereabouts of his mother. Yu Lingxi frowned and said, Ru, don't you know how to knock? Come in and see how my sister treats you. Yi Chen felt embarrassed in his heart but spoke seriously. Time is running out. Yu Xiaofeng may have to play tricks. Moments later, Yi Chen arrived at third senior sister in Miao Han's room and told both of them the whole story. And Miao Han frowned. Master was indeed called to Yu Xiao Peak by the head, saying that it was something urgent. Is it a trap? Hearing this, Yi Chen rushed out of the room, wanting to find Yi Chen Wu. The two senior sisters, afraid of exposing Yi Chen's male identity, urged him not to go. He had the jade pendant, so he could go anywhere in Xian Yuan Holy Land. This reassured the two senior sisters, but they misunderstood Yi Chen's gesture, thinking that the young man had come up with another mischievous idea. At this moment, the various peak masters gathered in the conference hall with Yu Xiaofeng. Greetings, senior. Yu Xiaofeng nodded. Well, now that we're all here, let's get started. Yi Qing Wu looked puzzled. Master, where's my seat? Unexpectedly, Ding Wuyang sneered. Sinner Yi Qing Wu, you still have the face to ask for a seat. Today's Four Peaks gathering is to decide the punishment for you, Xianyao Peak. Yi Qing Wu instantly realized that this was a trap but still retorted on the surface. Elder Ding, what is the sin of my Xianyao Peak? Ding Wuyang said while walking. Crime number one, Xianyao Peak has no shame, harboring a man to commit adultery. The second crime is that Xianyao Peak has no patriarchal rules and beat me, an elder. The third crime is that Xianyao Peak has treated the birthday of the sect master in a perfunctory manner without any respect. Yi Qing Wu also didn't show any weakness. Elder Ding, I didn't expect you to still be entangled in this matter. Then why did you appear in the practice room of my Xianyao Peak female disciple? Ding Wuyang acted shamelessly. What practice room? Why don't I know? I clearly saw a man who was being spooky and was beaten up by you all guys when I went to arrest him. Yi Qing Wu trembled with anger. You, how dare you turn your back on me? Just then, the Tianqi Peak master interjected. Ahem, Qing Wu Jr. sister, I have to say what you did this time was really too much. You have to seriously apologize. The Shinting Peak master also echoed. Exactly. It's outrageous. Finally, after their discussion, they proposed. In my opinion, Xianyao Peak should hand over the man and pay 50,000 tails of silver and 10 tons of top grade herbs as compensation. What do you think? 50,000 tails and 10 tons of top grade herbs? Xianyao Peak has been squeezed out for so many years, let alone 50,000 tails. Even 5,000 tails are hard to come by. At this moment, Yu Xiaofeng spoke up harshly. It seems that Xianyao Peak wants to separate from Xian Yuan Holy Land. Yi Qing Wu hurriedly said, Qing Wu, I dare not. Ding Wuyang took advantage of the situation and approached, looking very satisfied with Yi Qing Wu's expression. He then said, That's right, leaving the big tree of Xian Yuan Holy Land, Xianyao Peak is nothing. If you really feel that you cannot get out, I can help you plead for mercy, as long as you are willing to accompany me. Just then, Yi Qin appeared in time and kicked Ding Wuyang away once again. He then proceeded to punch and kick him relentlessly, as if he wanted to smash his face. Finally, with one last kick, he saved Ding Wuyang from the trouble of having children. Ding Wuyang fainted from the pain on the spot. Yi Chen then placed his hands on his hips and said, I heard you guys were looking for me. Grandpa is here. Fortunately, Yi Chen's appearance confirmed the issue of Xianyao Peak harboring a man. Upon Yu Xiaofeng's order, several disciples entered the hall. Yi Chen was not flustered at all. How dare you make a scene in front of me? He stomped his left foot, and everyone was repelled by the force. Yi Qing Wu sensed the spiritual energy fluctuations, which clearly indicated the initial stage of the nascent soul realm. The Tianqi Peak Master was also astonished, as Yi Chen was so young yet already had such cultivation. Seeing this, Yu Xiaofeng crushed the armrest in anger and charged at Yi Chen with a fierce momentum, daring to act wildly in front of Yu Xiaofeng. Watch as I cripple you. Yi Qing Wu anxiously tried to stop the fight. Brother, be merciful. Your cultivation is in the middle of the Dongshu stage. Yi Chen can't fight against you. As Yu Xiaofeng's fist was about to land on Yi Chen, Yi Chen quickly took out the jade pendant. Upon seeing it, Yu Xiaofeng froze, looking as if he had seen a ghost. Is this a token from the master? Anyone who dares to be disrespectful to the Supreme Elder should be beaten. Yi Chen immediately slapped Yu Xiaofeng, sending him flying. The Shinting Peak Master expressed his doubts. The elders who are of the same generation as the ancestors have all become immortals. A Supreme Elder this young? It must be a liar. Suddenly, the spirit of the Supreme Elder emerged from the jade pendant. King Liuzi, you are crazy.
crazy. Don't you even recognize my token? The three masters immediately knelt on the ground. Greetings, master. Don't think I don't know the nasty things you two have done. It's only been a few years, but you've already ruined Xianyuan Holy Land. From now on, the Supreme Elder will be the supervisor. Any important matters must be reported to him, and his arrangements must be followed. Whoever is unconvinced, I will take him away. Upon hearing this, the three masters trembled with fear. Each and smirk, it is better to forget it after all. I live in Xianyao Peak, violated the rules, and these people are planning to enforce the rules of the section. But living in Xianyao Peak does have its flaws. I'd better live somewhere else. If everyone thinks that it is inappropriate for me to live in Xianyao Peak, then I will move in with Yu Xiaozi. Hearing this, Yu Xiaofeng anxiously started kowtowing. They knew that from now on, they would have to curry favor with Yi Chen. Ding Liang tried to sneak away, but was caught by Yi Chen. Terrified, he immediately begged for mercy. Yi Chen said with a hint of malice, take it easy. I am very easy going. The past can never be blamed. After saying this, he punched Ding Liang and warned, if you dare to cause trouble for Xiangyao Peak in the future, you'll be punished. At that moment, a system prompt appeared. Congratulations to the host for completing the hidden check-in task. Arrive at Yu Xiao Peak Hall and obtain the reward, the ultimate mysterious sword Snow Wing Dot. Having dealt with the situation, Yi Chen and Yi Qing Wu returned to Xiangyao Peak. Yi Chen managed to brush off questions about the Supreme Elder's token, and Yi Qing Wu sighed. When your eldest sister comes out of seclusion and your second sister comes back from the secret realm, the other peaks will not dare to make trouble.